lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio. Here with James Jacob Prash, live in England. Jacob, one of the believers, had the question based on Luke 12, verses 47 and 48, are there degrees of punishment in hell? Absolutely, but not only based on that passage, but based on a number of passages. Jesus spoke directly about the ones who will receive the greater condemnation. The greatest condemnation in eternal hell will be for Satan. We have a teaching called the judgment of Satan we could refer you to, uh, again, available online. But there definitely will be degrees of eternal judgment, the same as there will be degrees of eternal reward for the believer. Absolutely, this is the case. Again, the worst of the judgment being reserved for Satan himself. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Thank oh, you. sorry, let's go back. Let's okay, go, go ahead, keep rolling. Now, it's, it's, little, it's little, very little consolation. It's little consolation. But we often have a case with believers who will say, my grandfather was a good man and he, he was, you know, someone who helped people and he never intentionally did anything wrong and he didn't curse or whatever or lie. And he didn't accept Christ. He just died without Christ. And it's hard for me to accept him being in hell. Well, ultimately, God only knows what happens when a person gives up the ghost. There's only certain people we know for sure, or, or certain individuals in hell, Satan being one, the Antichrist and false prophet another, Judas Iscariot being another. Nonetheless, ultimately, God only knows, and we can rest assured, his judgment will be perfect. His justice will be perfect. It's little com uh, compensation to say that an unsaved person who wasn't that bad in human terms will not receive the same eternal condemnation as a wicked person, a conspicuously wicked person in human terms. But of course, we're all wicked, we're all fallen. Uh, again, I don't cite this as a source of consolation. But we can be sure that the more wicked somebody was, the greater their judgment will be. On the other hand, we can be sure that the more wicked somebody is, if they repent, the greater the grace will be. That is the counterpoint. And I'm one person who's a living example. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. 
First being the dilemma of Laodicea. The dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast. Shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.